The best of the morning X. 99X. They'll advertise beer on television every five minutes, but they won't advertise condoms on network TV because they're afraid it'll lead young people to have sex. Oh, and I know because wait till young people find out about the pleasures of sex with condoms. <laughs> oh, yeah. You think you like now? Wait till you try it in plastic. <laughs> the morning Axie has served his two-year suspension for shaking up the high school scene in Atlanta. Now he's welcome back on our show. John Stewart. What's happening? Now, we're not going to let you do the pledge for right. any high schools this time. We I really, was I really suspended? Totally forgot about this. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, not only that, Stuart. It was at this in, time. First of all, here's what happens. We were doing uh, one of those school announcement deals where they plug us in over the PA of some grade school, and John right. was up here, and we had John doing the pledge for him, and he changed in the Republic to in the Republic, and then you blow out of town, and we had to go and sit in detention for a week. <laughs> wow. I really suspended? Yeah, you were on a two-year yeah. suspension. Oh, dude, you were in yeah. trouble. That's so wrong. But you're back now. It's over. Woohoo! To the minute. Let's call it high school. I'm guessing that would not have been the first time that you uh, would have served suspension in school. Let's call it girl school. Girl school. I was reading uh, some of the interviews with... It's funny, I was looking you up on the internet last night. Right. And, uh, the naked stuff. Any naked pictures? Yeah. I was disturbing. specifically looking for the naked stuff. Yeah, yeah. And um, about all I can come up with is the like interviews with you from 1994. It's like yeah, there's nothing uh, recent. I try and keep those very fresh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Suspension, man. That'll do it to you. Suspension. Yeah. yeah. Do you ever... Do you have fun? I, I have trouble on the internet. I, I get on there and I make a search and it's either way too not specific and I get thousands and hundreds of millions of uh, hits. Right. Or way too specific, and it goes, we don't know what you're talking about. Now, you'll sit there, come on, be honest, you will sit there and type in your name just to, let's just see what's going on. Sure, I'll type in my name. I mean, who doesn't, right? Yeah, exactly. You always type in your name just to see what's going on. Find any good rumors about yourself on there? Uh, I found out that I was in the Kingston Trio. <laughs> <laughs> Listed on your bio. Huh? Listed on your bio, huh? Yeah. yeah. I know yeah. that's not a good rumor. It's not like a perverse one, but uh, apparently I was in the Kingston Trio. I didn't know you were in this movie, The Faculty. Yeah, yeah, The Faculty. It's uh, like a little sci-fi thriller jobby. Did you? Uh, are you proud of that? <laughs> I'm proud. Are you trying to hide yeah, it under I'm a proud rock? Not just not to get cut out of any of these movies. What was that movie you got cut out of? You had some role. <clears throat> First Wives Club. First Wives Club. That's I right. I played Goldie Hawn's boyfriend, which apparently <laughs> movie-going audiences found distasteful. Oh, right. hard to hard to buy. Hard to buy. Uh huh. Exactly. So, now uh, you have a good. You'll find that on the internet, my friend. I, I didn't. I didn't see that. You know. Again, I'm still. I'm still reading. In your interviews. cyberspace world of pain. <laughs> when they cut you out like that, did you find out before? Or did you show up to the premiere? You know what's hey. weird? You show up to the premiere, and right before it goes on, mm -hmm. uh, they get the whole audience to turn around and tell you. <laughs> hey, John. <laughs> exactly. It's humiliation. It's like a big gag, and then uh, Alan Funk comes out. Let's go. You wonder how it. I actually found out? It's sort of a stupid story. Uh, a friend of mine went to go see it. And uh, called me up and goes, what movie did you say you were in again? Mm -hmm. I go, First Wives Club. And he goes, I don't think that's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, yeah. You're not listed, man. Yeah. No, I, I said, no, I think that is it. He goes, nah, I got to tell you something. Now, <laughs> I saw it. Besides The Faculty, you have a couple other movies coming out. A romantic comedy. I got Cop and a Half and uh, Platoon. Platoon, right? Cop and a half. <laughs> Cop and a half. Oh, Come on. I'm going to go with that. Right. Go with Cop and a half. Now, I'm in Varsity Blues. I play Dawson. Mm-hmm. Good. Hey, uh, you are like in a serious relationship right now, aren't you? Sorry? Uh, are you in like a real serious relationship right now? When you say real serious, what do you mean by that? Well, like, I mean... Like enough you actually that, gave well, your phone number out. I'll tell you what. Enough that when I've seen you on TV, you refer to this person as like the love of my life and... That kind of stuff. I saw you recently on something, and you referred to her as I your say that. as your deep love. What? You referred to her as like your deep love, or you referred <laughs> to her on national TV. So it's got to be something. Well, that that may be true, but I, I wouldn't say it like that. She's Come right on, there. That's a little weak. She's right hey. there, isn't she? Huh? She's right there, of isn't course. she? Of <laughs> course. <laughs> you know, a lot of guys they get girlfriends and then they turn not funny. Yeah, that doesn't. Is that doing it? Is it watering you down? Yeah, no question. You know, you're going to start doing the, the couple's jokes. No, that I haven't done yet. Did no. I just hear a dog bark in the background? Yeah, you did. What do you have, John? Uh, we have a pit bull. 
A pit bull? A pit bull? Yeah. Sleep in bed with you? Uh, well, it sleeps in bed near us. Mm-hmm. Near us. Uh, it's own bed. We actually sit in the corner shivering. <laughs> do you have a, vo- a voice that you talk to your dog in? Everyone's got the voice, John. Yeah. Yes, I do. Absolutely, I do. You want to hear? Yes. yes. Whatever you say, just don't. No, please don't hurt us. <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> God damn it! Why did we buy you? <laughs> well, well, you live uh, you live in the project, so you need that pit bull, right? Yeah. Well, he's yeah, a uh, mix. My girlfriend works in a uh, uh, veterinary uh, field. Mm-hmm. So, uh, in New York City, most of all the dogs in the shelters are pit bulls. So, if we, you go get a dog from the pound, that's what you get. Um, first, uh, let me just also first say your book, Naked Pictures of uh, Famous People, I read over the weekend and got some you big read laughs. read over the weekend? Well, it's only Dude, 150. it's only 10 pages. In fact, I read most of it in one day, which... Come on, man, that, that book would take you 19 <laughs> or 20 trips to the bathroom to read. This book is perfect bathroom reading. Yeah. You don't want any chapter more than three or four pages. Wait, the dog, since you were talking about him, not a dog. I'm in the other room with the door yeah. closed. I hear the dog moaning, trying to get in here. Dog yeah. wants to get on the air. All right, come on in. Come on in. My name's Mackie. So, um... We're talking to John Stewart. What I was going to ask you was, I remember last time you were up here, you had been talking about, because you've been offered sitcoms and stuff before. I mean, this is certainly not the first show that you've ever been on. Can you remember right. any sitcoms that came your way that you just, that were the, the premise was just so preposterous, you just couldn't see yourself doing it? Um... I'm trying to think of anything it's so preposterous. Uh, there was this one, uh, it was about a guy who was a comic, and he had, like, neurotic friends. It was just set in New York, and they were all really, what was the one guy's name? Kramer, I think. Uh-huh. Uh, it just it seemed to me it would never work. No, that doesn't sound like anything anybody would be yeah, able to. Yeah, and, uh, I don't remember whatever happened to that what? guy. What did they want you to do on that show? They wanted me to do something sign somebody. I, I, I can't remember. Steinberg. Steinfeld, maybe. Mm-hmm. Good. Something along those lines. But, I, I, you know, look, you guys know me. I clearly pick winners. This interview isn't over. More after a quick break. You can also find it and more on the Morning X with Barnes & Leslie podcast. You're inside the best of the Morning X.